Every new version of Flash Professional brings with it new features and enhancements. In this lesson, we explore what is new in this latest release. So what's new in Flash Professional CS6? We have a number of new features around exporting of assets. These include Sprite Sheet Export, Ping Sequence Export, and the CreateJS Toolkit. So all of these are ways of getting content from Flash Professional into some other application, and many of these are targeted to HTML and JavaScript. We have the new Mobile Content Simulator. This is able to emulate such things as hardware keys from a device, the accelerometer sensor, multi-touch, and geolocation coordinates. It's an excellent new tool available in this new version of Flash Professional for mobile developers. Then we also have some debugging enhancements, such as the network interface for remote debugging, debugging iOS via Wi-Fi, and a number of new supported languages in the manifest documents and error projects for mobile. We have new publishing options. These include high efficiency Swift compression, render mode direct for GPU, and Air SDK management. We also have support for the new captive runtime and native extensions available to us with Air 3 and above. Here we're going to highlight the toolkit for CreateJS. This is an extension available for Flash Professional CS6, which allows the output of Flash Professional projects to HTML. They include EaselJS, which allows working with Canvas, TweenJS, which handles animation, SoundJS for audio, and PreloadJS for asset loading. All of these libraries together make up CreateJS. So this has been a rundown of some of the new features in Flash Professional CS6.